Hey everybody, Josh Neighbors here, Locked On Big 12 Podcast. It is the 30th of January, 2023. It is 7.49 Central Standard Time. We just got news that the Big 12 football schedule will be released tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. Also, we've already got the schedule for one Big 12 team. So a whole lot to get to on this spontaneous version of Locked On Big 12. You are Locked On Big 12, your daily podcast on the Big 12 Conference, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Once again, Josh Neighbors here, Locked On Big 12 Podcast. Make sure you all subscribe to us here on YouTube. It really does help out when you all do that. Uh, Follow us on Twitter at LOBig12. You guys can find me at Josh Neighbors underscore. You can find the show on YouTube. And wherever you guys get your podcasts, we're brought to you all by the folks at the FanDuel Sportsbook, the number one sportsbook in America. Big news, guys. We just got it. The Big 12 put it out. Uh, It was confirmed to me by somebody within the Big 12 office a little earlier. But the Big 12 schedule is being released tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. We were wondering when this announcement was going to come. We thought it would come this week. Um, and I, you know, I didn't think they were going to do it on signing day, which is Wednesday. Obviously, you know, the early signing day has already happened. So national signing day is not as significant anymore. So I was kind of curious about, okay, when they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to do it on signing day, even though it's not as significant, but we got the news coming out tomorrow. So this has been one of the most anticipated schedule releases. And the reason why is everyone's trying to figure out who will be playing Oklahoma and Texas Specifically, the new schools, right? Uh, is Oklahoma, uh, are Oklahoma and Texas going to have to go to Orlando and Provo and you know places like that, or and would those replace certain schools' attempts to play those schools, right? Like Kansas State is owed a game at home this year. If you would be following the normal schedule, right? K State is supposed to play Oklahoma at home because they played them in Norman last year. Will K-State get replaced in that sense by a trip to Orlando, right? Uh, You know, will their trip to Austin be replaced by Cincinnati going to Texas and things of that nature? We'll get that full answer tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. I'm sure it will be out on all the channels. We did get wind of this kind of coming down the pike. I'd heard some folks from the University of Oklahoma talking about this, that It's basically been decided, Neil Brown said a couple weeks ago or a week and a half ago, I guess, that he knew who their 2023 opponents were going to be. He just didn't know where they were going to play them or when they were going to play them. We'll get those answers tomorrow. And also part of this too, folks, which was, uh, you know, kind of a, a really interesting part of this, TCU's football schedule was leaked. And this was not expected at all they must have accidentally posted it um i think their schedule it came out saw 8 39 eastern time is when theirs came out not sure when the big 12 announcement was um but tomorrow we're going to get the announcement and next season and i see that the schedule is now is now down they took out the, the 2023 one but uh we will have this i know cody nagel over uh, 24 seven sports and pulled it up really fast. He had the actual picture taken because I know they took it down pretty fast on the TC website. So we do know that the not defending champions, but the national runner up TCU, we have their schedule. We know it's going to go like this Colorado at home in Fort Worth. They made the trip there last year, then Nichols, and then they will play at Houston. So their first big 12 game is going to be on the road against the Houston Cougars. They will then take on SMU at home. Man, this is a really interesting first four games for them. Nichols, obviously, shout out to Nichols. But they get to play Coach Prime in his debut at home. They get to play Houston, you know, obviously in-state now and potentially rival on the road before SMU, their actual rival, not in the conference though, pays them a visit next year. Very interesting. They've got another home game, so four of their first five are at home. Uh, They'll play West Virginia at home. Then they're on the road at Jack Trice to play Iowa State before they come back home to play BYU. After that, this is a murderous stretch at the end of the year for TCU. They've got, so after that BYU home game, 
They are at K-State, at Texas Tech, home for Texas, home for Baylor, and at OU. That is a difficult run for them coming up. That is one, two, three uh, of the teams that finish with them inside the top four, right? The top four this year in the league. Obviously, TCU winning the regular season championship, then K-State winning the, uh, I guess, regular season championship, whatever you want to call it, the postseason championship. They then play Texas Tech, who has finished inside the top four. They then play Texas, who finished uh, third. And then they'll play Baylor as well, who I think finished fifth. I think the one that they finished fifth, I want to say that. Uh, and then OU, who is right there as well, six. So they basically have everybody who was with them in the top there at the end. TCU is going to be playing, and as we see it here now, two of the new teams in the league. They draw Houston at home, and they draw BYU, or excuse me, Houston on the road, and then BYU at home. Is this a sign of things to come? Will everybody be, uh, you know, have a chance to play a couple of the new teams that are involved in this league? Now you'll notice, okay, who are they? Who is TCU not going to play now in the Big Twelve? The school's missing the Kansas Jayhawks and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. So those two schools will not be playing. Obviously, TCU and both these schools played thrillers against TCU. TCU Oklahoma State was the big rally double overtime win for TCU. And then we had that banger of a back and forth game in Lawrence, Kansas, when college game day went to KU between TCU and Kansas. And that felt like the real arrival for the TCU Horn Frogs. So this schedule was accidentally released. I believe it to be true, right? Everybody kind of saw it posted to the website. We know what this schedule looks like. And now we understand, at least we have one piece of the pie for a bunch of other schools. So this is going to be a whole lot of what's coming up tomorrow. And I think, you know, is there a ton that we can take from what we saw with TCU schedule? Maybe, maybe there is, but I'm not, I'm not positive. All I know is this. Fired up for 1 p.m. Central tomorrow. That backstretch looks brutal for TCU. That climb to trying to repeat a wonderful season is going to be difficult because of the number of guys that they lost. I'm wondering if we're going to see any stretch that's as hard as that one for a, uh, a school that just lost its offensive coordinator, lost its quarterback, lost best wide receiver, lost best running back, lost guys off the defensive line, uh, lost some guys at cornerback. I mean, they're really going to have to make some strides you know, to try and repeat what they did this year. And that's obviously been a huge, huge piece of of the conversation in the offseason, a huge piece of what we talked about for the Big 12. Last three years in the Big 12 championship game, we've had six different teams, Iowa State, Oklahoma, Baylor, Oklahoma State, TCU, and Kansas State. Can anybody repeat what they did? The only school that really met any expectations was Oklahoma. They had a 10-2, and or was it the 9-3, 10-2 season? Uh, I think it was 10 and two, whatever it was last year when they just narrowly missed out in the big 12 championship game because that last week lost in Bedlam. Everyone else had pretty mid seasons. Iowa state pretty mid there in 2021, although it should have been better. And then Baylor goes six and seven last year. Oklahoma state goes seven and six this, uh, this season as well. So TCU, we just realized that their road to a repeat of this year is going to be a very, very challenging one. We'll see what Sunny Dice can meet. And now, guys, we know that we've got 11 more of these schedules, or excuse me, 13 more of these schedules that are going to be coming out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. We will have full reaction to all of the schedules, some of the biggest games, some of the highlights that we are going to see. Where will OU and Texas be heading? Who will get kind of jobbed in that regard? Who's going to be upset? Who's going to be happy? We'll talk about paths. Whose schedule do you like the most? Whose schedule do you not like the most when we see them come out? Obviously, it's still a lot to sort out in terms of who will be playing where and who's going to be on whose team when they when we see these schedules. So there is a lot to unpack. We finally know, though, when we're going to be, going to be getting it. So excitement. We'll have graphics. We'll make sure everybody can see these schedules as they come out. TCU schedule is out. You guys can find Cody Nagel on Twitter if you guys want to check out that schedule, but I got pretty giddy there just reading that. Uh, Fired up for tomorrow. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter, at LOBig12. You guys can find me, at JoshNeighbors underscore. Let me know what you guys think 
of the schedule release tomorrow, what you guys want to see, what you think about TCU schedule, and a whole lot more in the comment section below. Once again, follow us on Twitter at LO Big 12. Follow me at Josh Neighbors underscore. Find the show wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube as well. Please subscribe. Till tomorrow, my friends. Till next time, stay safe. And I am fired up for the 31st of January, the Big 12 2023 football schedule.